Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1 800 808 5548. And we are back. Boy, time flies when you're having fun. It does. That's and when fun. you got a great team and, and, and oh, great individuals yeah. in the studio, it makes it even easier I've, right there. I've admired this group for yes. a long, long time, and, and I, I, I talk about them. I, it's a, this is how you do real estate. Right. And to do it now, Carol Peyton Young, you've got you've got a story to tell too. You know, you you were uh, uh, with the team leader for Keller Williams Metropolitan, and then you went to corporate in Austin. So, talk a little bit about your career because you're you're a big part of the team. Well, I am. I was with Keller Williams. I, I got in real estate many years ago, and I found that I liked real estate, but I loved the part of it that inspired people and looked for innovation and coach people. And I was contacted by Gary Keller, oh, about 16 years ago, uh, about the opportunity to, to join forces with Keller Williams. And, and I said, you know, Gary, I'm, I'm really not interested in getting into management. And he said, oh, that's great because we don't believe in managers. We're looking for coaches. And, and so, and the rest was history. So I was with them for about 14 years, and they gave me a tremendous platform to understand leadership, to understand personal growth, and um, so um, I enjoyed that for, for many years. And you're, you're well-known in the industry and well-respected throughout the country, and Keller Williams has got great training. and They have a great background. It, uh, there's, Like you're saying, there's a lot of models out there. There's just so many models out there that are so good, and, and uh, leadership is just a springboard to, to decide what you want to be. And now uh, that real estate now is more of a business than it's ever been, you, you, every real estate agent has got to look at themselves as the only CEO of a major corporation they're ever going to own. And so they've got to run their business like that, whatever their model is. And there's so <laughs> many shiny objects that are thrown at us and so many things that everyone says, well, you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to do this. What you have to do is decide what is important in your business and make that turn and understand that still the consumer is in the middle of the business, but the consumer is more savvy than they've ever been. And they expect a real estate agent to be savvy. And it is that relationship that is going to make us the success that we yeah. well, want Well, I always to say, be. you know, the consumers can get the information, but they don't have the experience. So they can go online and get all this stuff, but they don't necessarily know how to put all the pieces together. And that's where, where we come in as, as well, professionals. Well, that's right. And the thing is, information is not data. Information, it is the real estate agent then that takes all of that and says, okay, this is the pertinent data that now – relates to what you're trying to do so we can get to where you're going just like going to the doctors they're looking at all that data they're getting on the charts from all the tests you've taken and they're they they're with their professionalism and their experience they can tell you what that means exactly and, and it's pretty much the same thing the same thing in mortgages same thing you can you- absolutely you know I, I, I and, and what, what carol was saying was true right there is you know one of the things that we see is there's a there's information overload out there You know, one of the things, and in fact, I'll I'll give a story, and it's not real estate related. When my daughter was born, she had a congenital heart defect. First thing I do is go out to the Internet and find out what that means and what it looks like, right? Boy, I had to get off the Internet really fast because there's a lot of data out there that is inaccurate data, right? Same exact thing that goes on with real estate. A lot of individuals, and I see it all the time, they'll go out there and say, by the way, I see this online or I see this or I hear this, et cetera. And what it really is is, that's a, an experience that somebody had or that somebody posted out there. That's not a representation of truly what you can qualify for or where you want to buy or the negotiation process that's currently going on. And so a lot of times it's about getting out there from a from an information perspective. And don't get me wrong. I love everything that we have out there. And, and, and we are fortunate to be in Houston where we have HAR. The number one – I mean there is no place anywhere that has something like HAR. However, even with that being said, though, you need to go with a professional. You need to get with a team like the David Young and Company group, and you need to be able to find out how to disseminate that information because a lot of things that go into negotiation to contract, putting in, putting in the place correct contract, to understanding the process, not only the loan process, but the buying process. 
when do you need to go ahead and do an inspection? What process gets set up? How do you know how to select a good title company? And all that's information, Carol, that you know we've talked about that, that's very important well, that, that you walk through that, that process. That would be Capital Title, wouldn't it? One of our great sponsors. <laughs> they are they are a great sponsor, and they are an absolutely incredible title company right there. But you know what I was really getting to is you know some of those, some of the things I think Carol was talking about is knowing how to put those things together, and more importantly, know how to you know work with a with a group that can that can yeah. truly provide that value to you. Well, I think that's true, too, and we were talking about how savvy the consumer is, but uh, being in the energy corridor, another thing that people need to know is is um, that we are, you know, we act very uh, locally, but also we are acting very globally, and, and 60 to 70 percent of uh, clients that David works with are international, so are you getting this exposure you know, both uh, with the Houston market, but are you getting it exposed digitally? What is your digital experience? Is your is your listing got the content marketing? Um, you know, now we have a whole media department, not just because I like show business, which I do, but uh, <laughs> someone said in a commercial one time, they said, so you're a uh, an actor trying to be a realtor, and I said, "No, I'm a realtor trying to be an actor." But <laughs> and that's what I talk about. I'm, I'm a radio show host, but I am a real estate guy that's doing radio, not a radio guy that's doing real estate. There's a big, right. difference. big difference. But those consumers, and we keep saying, you know, we need to get it on video. Video. Well, why? Because video is heavier on the web, and right. so it picks it up much quicker. And we have someone that's just into content, so that content has got to on always be changing. So there's so many things that are exactly right, Chris. It's the backstory from the negotiations and how is it positioned. And and there's so much on the back end that you don't see that goes with getting it from the initial marketing globally to the very end result, which is walking away with a satisfied buyer and a seller. Yeah. And you know, t- you, you said uh, it just one little point, but again, it goes back to we always say on the show, work with experts. Uh, we need to get on video. We need to get it on video. Why? Well, first of all, because I'm I'm an expert, and you hired me to be your expert. Simple answer: Google paid billions, b billions of dollars for YouTube. Mm-hmm. Someone thinks it's important. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right? It's that simple. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, and agree. And you know, and, and one of the things most people don't realize is is that we did that we went to an NRG event in which. Uh, Mr. Young, you were up there talking about building a successful uh, company and team, and there was a great dance that was on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, that you know how to imitate pretty well. <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Next but, question, but, please. Be, be, happy, be, be happy that's a radio, because we'd we be replaying we, that We video. make them get up right, right now and do it, yeah, the, all I, night. I kept my clothes on, didn't I? Yes, you did, did. absolutely. Yes, did. Absolutely. <laughs> so that was a great event, too. So and I think I think people had great takeaways from that. And, and I think what most professionals now see is that it's it's a consumer's market. They they are driving the bus, and we know how we need to know how to to uh, work with them and make sure that they're getting that that experience with we, a, with, with a professional. You know, one of the biggest things I think we can say about that also is you know we we talked about this during the break. Several individuals in this studio have done business with each other, okay? And no other individuals we've had on the show in the past we talked about have done business with each other. Part of being a professional, and let me tell you, is when you're doing this full-time, you end up getting to know people. And so part of that experience we talk about that you can't get data is the relationship aspect also between agents. It works very good whenever you know how to work with other agents, whenever they know you, they know your reputation, they know your style, it, 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 there's a big difference in doing that. So much more fun whenever it plays nice in the sandbox. You well, know? you know, a lot of agents look at other agents as their, quote, competitor. Um, you can't do all the business, but if you really make friends and you're professional and your ethics are there, uh, you're going to be a lot better off than uh, than than trying to, to put yourself on an island uh, away and, from and, a, and, you know, no and we use it. the term co-opetition because the person that you, you might be competing for the listing, you might be bringing the buyer for that if you if you didn't get the listing. So it's always uh, a place where we do business with each other, and you've got to be able to be a professional. And you know what? If I was out showing and I saw David Young was a listing agent on that, I'm going to go show that house because I know how it's going to be working with David. <laughs> And if I if there's some of the that are contrarians 
And, uh, you know, there are a few out there. And, Carol, we talked about earlier that, that there are some egos out there. Uh, I might be disinclined to to want to uh, work with them. Well, and the thing is that our clients don't deserve that. We should work in concert with each other. And I really do think as the models are changing in business, I think the models of looking at each other as competition is out, that we don't look to compete with each other. We should look to complete each other. And uh, You complete me. That (laughs) that is, and is complete the transaction and to do it in a harmonious way. And, and we get caught up, or some people get too caught up in all the little battles along the way. And it's not that at all. Yep. And we spend a lot of time but, brailing the consumer. But we pr- primarily hire us for two reasons, to be objective and be great negotiators. And you know what? I think that's where we probably need a lot of the work, is, okay. is to be objective. Because some people just get fired up and start taking things internally. And that's what they want to be have removed from the equation, is to not get emotional about it and it right. for the buyers and sellers it is emotional but for us it should be this right. is business and that's the way we need to do it and rob in the next segment i, I think as we talked about uh, uh i'd like to take you from uh, kind of where we were uh what our, our past was and where we see the future going and, because and that's, that's funny you should mention that because exactly where i wanted to go <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah we you know the real estate is going to be very different Five years from now, ten years from now, and we may not even recognize it. And that's why I want to see where we're going. And right. I know and, they have a plan. And real estate's real different even right now. I mean, if you look at where real estate is today versus five years ago and ten years <laughs> ago and 15 years ago, there's a progression that's taken place over that period of time, and it has really, really changed quite a bit. No, so, I think we're coming up against Are we coming up against a break yet? Ash, we are Ashley up against shaking her a head, break. Yes. She's shaking her head. So wait till next segment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. As sure as you live Something's gotta give Something's gotta give Something's gotta give 